What's up guys? Check out these inner fender liners from Hook Road. They're black steel powder coated and they look awesome. They have those inserts there. Let's check them out. All right guys, you can see these are installed. They look great. I kept my upper fender liner and just cut it so you can see these from Hook Road. Had them on for a few weeks and they're pretty awesome. This is what the passenger side looked like before. And here's the driver's side. It's a tour. I think that's how the driver's side's gonna look with those bent that way. And the passenger side that was put together right there, the way that's gonna look. All right, to install these guys, you just put this gray backer on with the little tiny screws and bolts. Remove a couple bolts from your fender liner on your Jeep. Pop some little clips out. Be careful not to break them. Pull out the factory fender liner. All right, install these top two brackets right here using the supplied bolts and nuts. Install one of the brackets right here for the front. Put the full inner fender liner in there and get your bolts started in the top two brackets very loosely. This seemed like it was in the way, this wiring connection, so I popped it out and kind of moved it behind. Then you want to get your front bracket started loosely. All right, guys, we got it up in there. Extremely loose, extremely, extremely loose. Now this hole right down there has to bolt in with that on your Jeep. There's one on the bottom and then one up there. It's gotta go up there. And it's a pain in the butt on the other side. I'm assuming it's gonna be on this side too, but we will see. All right, you're gonna wanna push real hard on your fender liner get that bolt started so you can get the nut behind it. And then go ahead and start tightening up all of your bolts to tighten in the whole fender liner. With this whole entire piece out, it looks like garbage up under the top of your fender. So I still wanted it to kind of look decent and black. So I cut the fender liner. All right guys, up under the top of the fender. Looks kind of stupid to me. With all that open. Up under there. So that's why I wanted to put the factory one back to cover this top part up and then just cut it to where you can see that. All right, I carefully determined where to cut on the old factory fender liner to get rid of the inner part that we replaced with the hook road inner fender liner. Put that back up in there just the same way you got it out. Put the clips and bolts back in and you're good to go. I appreciate y'all watching. Go check out Hook Road. They got all kinds of stuff. That's where my bed rack is from too. You see my back there that my tent is on. And then I got these fender liners. They look pretty sweet. You can actually paint the gray part, whatever color you want, if you wanted to, and then put that on the back and bolt it in. But I just left it like that. So check out Hook Road. We'll see y'all next time.